to another video. Today I am doing day 16 and these are the photos I'm going to be using. So I have a picture of an ornament that my daughter's school teacher, um, or actually my daughter gave to my, her school teacher and she, the school teacher sent her a picture. And then I have a picture of my daughter and her friend and then her holding an ornament that she made at Before Care. Um, two little stuffed mooses, or actually they're pretty big stuffed mooses, that that my husband and her won. They always play the claw um, and he's an on a roll again. I think I had another video where he won a penguin. So these are like three stuffed animals in less than a month. Um, and then a picture of me um, wrapping paper or wrapping presents with paper. Um, so I am going to add these sequins. I already had them kind of sitting here on to this picture. And then I basically am going to be using pretty much everything from the Snow and Cocoa line. Um, I'm going to use this color card right here. And then I think I'm going to end up putting the mousse towards the top. And then I really like this um, tree paper, and I thought it would be perfect next to the Christmas tree ornament. And then this green card here. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep this um, page all snow and cocoa line. I just really like the colors, and I haven't been using it as much. I've actually been using my, probably my my um, Allie Edwards kit just a little bit more. So I thought I'd do something um, different and use this the entire spread. I am using a few other things, but that's generally the idea. Um, so here is one of those acetate pieces that came from Michael's. It was a 12 by 12 sheet, and I just cut it down to 3 by 4 so it could fit over the top of that card. And I thought that was kind of fun because I'm going to be using some other gold elements here. And then for this one, it's actually about a 3 by 3-ish photo or size photo. And then I put it on acetate. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. But the photo that's going to be going behind here is the same size. So it'll be in the back, and I want to use this as a little shaker pocket, kind of. Um, so I'm going to be putting the sequins down here, and I wanted something to hold the photo at the top so it wouldn't fall. So I'm just using that acetate piece. And I think what I'm going to be using is this right here. These are, um, this is a stamp that I have. It is from Stampin' Up. It is an old stamp. Let me see if I have it. It's an old background stamp like this, and I just stamped it on white cardstock and embossed it with gold. And I really, really like this. This is probably the first time I've used it in forever. And it's not a Christmas stamp, but it has a lot of words that work perfectly with the Christmas um, season and December daily and any project life, really. So um, this is a really cool stamp. So if you can get your hands on it, um, you might be able to find it like on the online or in eBay. Um, but it looks like it's a 2005 Stampin' Up! and it's a background stamp. So that's kind of what that looks like. So that is what I'm using for the um, phrases on this page. So there's a couple phrases, and like I said, I stamped them with some embossing powder. So for the shaker pocket, I am going to be using these sequins here, and these are the um, neat and tangled sequins. And I don't remember, oh, pixie ducks. Pi I can't talk. Pixie dust sequin mix. So that's what that sequin mix is. And so I'm going to be using it at the bottom of this little shaker pocket. And then for this, I'm going to um, put that here. I wanted to bring some pink across the page. And I really like this tag or die cut piece. And it already has a hole in it. So I'm going to be mounting this on top of the pink here. And I'm just going to string it like I have the rest of my tags with this black and white twine. And I will just add that to the bottom, or not the bottom, the hole in the tag. So I'll do that here. And I'm trying to think if I want, I might just do, I think I'm just going to do the one layer. Sometimes I like to double it up. It just kind of depends on the, what I'm feeling that day. Um, but I think I'm just going to keep this one um, with a single thread layer. And I am going to tie a knot just to give it a little extra something. Um, and then I'll trim off the excess. So I will just trim it off right about there. And so I'm going to glue this here now and this is just another piece of paper from the snow and cocoa line and I think it's really pretty and I just wanted a darker color on here to kind of match up with the other pieces of paper that I'm using and then also the circle in the middle and I may go ahead and um, staple that down or it may just stay that way so I think I like that I'm gonna glue this to the acetate and then I'll know where to put the um, adhesive on the acetate so that you don't see it so I'm gonna do that first Put it like that and then on this card I'm also going to be putting my number um, and it's like I said day 16 and I'm going to be using the badge I tried not to use a lot oops, I'm drop something. I've been trying not to use a lot of the badges um, so I used some thickers last time because I am getting a pretty fat album but I am going to use the badge this time just to mix it up I don't want to start using now all thicker since I've been using um, I used the thickers on the last pages so that's kind of what that looks like. Um, and then the 16 is going to go here, and I do have to take the pin back off of it still. And I'll 
probably put that on the outside of the page protector. So I'm going to work on this card here, and this is one of the chipboard uh, trees from the Snow and Cocoa line. So I'm going to add that here just to um, add. It's like we have the, the trees in the background and this tree, and I like how that looks. And I'm also going to add these vellum snowflakes that I made on stamped on vellum. And I've showed you guys those already, so I'm not going to go over the detail of that. And then I'm going to use another one of those stamped words. Um, and I think it tucks in really nicely right there. So I'm going to keep it like that. Um, for this here, I'm going to use the friendship word. And then for this one, I'm going to use delight. So I'm going to glue these little sequins down. I'm just going to use some tape runner on the back of them. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down too. I'm going to use my ATG gun for most of this. I like how it adheres just a bit better. Um, a lot of times I will use my dot runner adhesive for um, Project Life just because it's a smaller thing and I'm usually putting smaller stuff down on the page. But um, I have a feeling that this album might get handled a bit more and I want to make sure everything stays and doesn't fall off it off and put some more on yeah I think with the patterns that are going on in the background you can't really see the adhesive too much all right so that card is done and then let's see I'm gonna go ahead I think I want to glue this down I'm trying to decide if I want to use another washi tape I really haven't used this much and I'm thinking about it may not be let's see that may be perfect I kind of just want a little bit showing through I'm gonna see I like that so that is that card. And then I'm gonna look, I got these um, letter strips from my mom for Christmas and there's different, all different kind of holidays and such on it. So I'm gonna look through it to see which one I like um, and see if there's anything I wanna use. All right, I've decided on the magic and merriment phrase. I'm gonna stick that, I think right here. And then I wanna put something else I don't know, maybe, maybe over here, there is some words already, it's like the journaling on it, but maybe I will add just a little bit of something over here. Let's do deck the halls. And then I might put, um, let's see, maybe a star above that. I have these wood veneer stars. I could probably use. Let me pull one over here. I'm gonna paint this with some um, color shine and I'll be right back. All right, instead of the Heidi Swap color shine, I decided to use some of that Heidi Swap um, texture paste, the metallic texture paste in gold. And it looks like this. Um, and it's kind of hard to tell, but it will get really, really pretty and shiny when it dries. Um, so you should be able to see a close up um, at the end of the video, of uh, the photo. And you'll see it's very sparkly. It kind of has a creamy, opaque texture um, when it first goes on, but it really becomes such a beautiful thing after it's been um, dried and such. All right, and I think that's about it. I'm just gonna, like I said, um, take the pin back off of this, use some foam tape, and then this layout is done. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you liked the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Have a great day, bye-bye.